Bonjour everyone, Pantouf here today for an another exciting video in which we're going to talk about the upcoming premium tank that will come in the Battle Pass in September because it's based on the Churchill gun carrier and all I gotta say is that for once they made a tank really looking beautiful simply because it looks historical. Let's not lose too much time and jump directly into it because oh boy are the news crusty for you today. Here it is, guys, you're taking a look at what the brand new Battle Pass tank is going to be. As you can see on the left, right, uh, the right, sorry, right now, it's the tank that you will be able to acquire at level 35 of the brand new Battle Pass, simply because it looks exactly like the regular Churchill gun carrier. But, of course, as it's the tendency right now, when you reach, if I'm not mistaken, level 60, you unlock some kind of a special camouflage plus attachment for the tank, and so your tank will look like this. And all I gotta say to be fair is that it looks really beautiful i mean just take a look at that we have sandbags we have that little uh, house on top of it i don't really know what it's meant for but i guess it's useful because it's here and yeah it really looks beautiful it gives it a world war one vibe in my opinion and all i gotta say is that they worked perfectly on this one you're taking a look earlier at what the battle pass video is gonna be and Basically, the main difference between the regular Churchill gun carrier and this one is that this one will have more armor and a better accuracy, which implies that it's possibly going to be one of the greatest non turreted tank destroyers at tier 6, because the main thing on the GC that was lacking was obviously the armor profile at the front, because as you can see, as the tank is shaped like a freaking brick, if you don't have enough armor at the front of the tank to be able to bounce shots, it's literally impossible. On top of that, it's one of the heaviest at tier 6, and that's why they showed you an Enemix ELC Kamikaze himself into this tank because if it's heavy it's made for you to be able to bounce some shells and just take a look at this it's incredible and yes these shots right there are exposed because you can't penetrate by shooting here it's only the frontal armor right there and uh, yeah it looks really historical and thank you Orgaming for giving us historical things instead of your stupid eraser or things like that because as we are playing a tank game we expect some historical accuracy and here it's it's just perfect i love it guys okay i love it on top of that something we could add if we uh, if we if we put the the video a little bit after we can Talk again briefly about the MS-1 because Wargaming just released a re uh, replay a video. It's official. The MS-1 is going to be the tank that will come back in the game. And yes, I have infos on that. It's going to be a tier 2, not a tier 1 anymore. A tier 2 that you will be acquired that will be acquirable completely for free at the end of August during an event. And on top of that, you will also be able to unlock the Pudel, the Polish tank. Uh, that is the exact same thing as the Bretagne Panther. But the main difference is that one is French and here it's going to be Polish. So the first premium tier 6 Polish tank implemented in the game, in the game if I'm not mistaken. Now that being said, guys, I feel like some of you would like to know how the Churchill gun carrier, the regular one, is performing in battle. Because yes, we already have a sample of what's going to be the next battle pass tank directly in our garage for the OGs out there that before the 5.5 update managed to get the tank in their garage. If you did that, guys, then yes, you are able to see what the Churchill gun carrier upgraded version of the battle pass is going to be but here we're going to take a look at this one so let's not lose too much time we go in straight the main thing about this tank is the gun because you have a tier 8 gun which is pretty similar to the one you have on the at 15 obviously without the same dpm but yeah it's still incredible 2.5k average damage per minute with a freaking tier 6 tank this is literally the best dpm you can find at tier 6 and yes it's going to be the exact same on the next battle pass tank so this tank is all about its gun on top of that you have a really really bad engine it's important to mention it because you only go to maximum 26 kilometers per hour which is not enough for you to be able to play aggressively with the tank you are going to be extremely dependent on your team but if you find the perfect spot from which you can support your team then yes you are going to have some fun now the last point we can't really talk about it right now because we don't have the statistics of the upcoming battle pass churchill gun carrier but the regular gc is easy to penetrate from the front literally everything will penetrate and if you angle just a little bit maybe you will be able to bounce tier 5 and some tier 6 with stock gun using regular shells but when it comes to gold shell yeah don't believe in it you are gonna get penetrated so we will have to wait for the upcoming churchill to see if this one can actually bounce shots so for the replay guys we're taking a look at the churchill gun carrier playing on the map called mine 
What do you need to know about the tank? As I already told you, the main strength is the gun. When it comes to the armor, if you manage to angle your armor properly, then yes, you can count it as a good side. But otherwise, when it's completely flat and you're going on flat terrain, people should be able to penetrate you quite easily. Now, the big problem with this is the mobility, because as you can see right now, we're only going 20 kilometers per hour, which is not enough at tier six to be able to be competitive and playing aggressively. That being said, how do you want to play it? When you are playing with the church, gun carrier and camping it's not a problem you stay in the back you just destroy the enemies and that's it but when you want to play it aggressively like i'm doing right now you need to find the perfect position and i really want to insist on perfect you need to find a position from which you use your 10 degrees of gun depression like it's the case right now because when you use your 10 degrees of gun depression you artificially increase your armor by angling it and if you don't do that the enemies tier 5 tier 6 whatever they will penetrate you but here as we're angling our tank you're going to see that it's not going to be the case Incredible DPM as well, because as you can see, one minute into the game and we already did 1.4k damage because we just fired continuously. Boom, boom, boom. We already killed nearly that poor tiger. There is also the P43 that wants to peekaboo. And that's it. That's it. Every time there is one of them that is going to peek, we are going to be able to destroy him using our precious DPM. And this is what... This is the main characteristic of the Churchill Gun Carrier. Now that the tank had been buffed, it's an incredible one, especially on this freaking DPM. Sorry, guys. Now, what do we want to do right now? As you can see, as your mobility kind of sucks, you are subject to being circled. And to avoid that, you need to make sure that your allies are sticking with you. And if you take a look at the map right now, you see that we have three tanks camping in the back defending me, which will make me sure that I can try to play aggressively without fearing that someone is going to circle me. Now we're gonna go on that tiger, we go for the first shot destroying the engine. Are we gonna be able to perma track him because that's a good tactic to do with this one. Even better, we broke the engine, he can't move anymore. And yes, even if we're taking some shots because as I told you, your armor is good only when you can maximize the angling. We still managed to kill it. We still managed to kill it because 5.9 seconds of reload for 225 alpha damage or 280. I can't remember exactly what's the um, what's the alpha damage on it. Boom, that's it. We do the job. We sneak in another one on the SU. We are going to wait for him to pass around the corner because thanks to our great accuracy, we are going to destroy it. We get 5th kill, 3.5k damage, and obviously, as nobody's playing it, the ace tanker. So this is pretty much what you could expect from the upcoming September Battle Pass tank, and hopefully it's going to be an amazing one. And I'm really looking forward to play that Churchill Gun Carrier because that's the first time Wargaming is implementing in a Battle Pass a tank based on the tank they removed during the 5.5 update. If you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe, like, and share, and tell me in the comments what you think about this upcoming tank, and it will be my pleasure to read you. See ya.